Greetings YouTube, it's the 31st of August and there's two jobs for today. One involving this uh, and this is a job because I don't really have the funds to buy any more stuff than I need. So what we're going to try and do, one job is to attach this to some of the collars. See if I can find one here. So yeah, we're going to have, we're going to try and attach a collar to this. That's one job. Uh, that's trickier than it sounds because uh, the, the drive shaft is 25 mil and this hole has been cut to fit this gear onto the one kilowatt motor. So this job would be a lot less tricky. We're, we're trying to make this gear so that it can go on the drive shaft. All right. And it's the wrong size, so it's going to be quite tricky to centralise properly, but we'll get to that. Excuse me, second job is to make the all-important plates where the bearings can fit on. Uh, so that's fairly simple, there are two holes. You'll see the elongated type hole, I'm not sure what's the right word for that, but that is a bit of a pain because even if you drill the holes perfectly centrally, there's still a bit of movement from the bolts, even if you use 12 mil ones. So the plan is to drill the holes as closely as possible, then obviously the rear bearing will go here, the bearing will go there, and then another plate will go there. Not sure about this shenanigans. At the minute, I'm literally making it up as I go along. I know the basic design that I want. Uh, that All this, this kind of mechanism was a bit OTT, although it does what it's supposed to. Uh, next time, if there is a next time, I wouldn't use that design. This is pretty cool, and that's all tough. We'll have to see with the bearing, won't we? We won't know how well it works till it gets up there you know uh, because obviously there's going to be a lot of strain i am thinking of making some kind of almost like an arm that comes off the bottom of the frame let me get something to try and show you something that basically fits down like that at an angle and fits around the top of the pipe but will still move and then will be welded to here just as like a backup uh, when the blades get put on the front that's going to even the weight out completely yeah because obviously we've got this heavy motor at the back uh, but the blades believe it or not the blades that are on that one with the blade hub is approximately 25 kilos so once that thing gets going that's the reason it chucks out so much power basically because it's got the 1.8 gear ratio sorry let me look at that one it's got the 1.8 gear ratio and you've got all that weight moving around at uh, 25 kilos moving at 300 rpm then there's going to be a lot there's a lot of juice to be had i'm feeling a lot better about this the stand which looks like something out of call of duty zombies some kind of trample steam device but it it's really solid now and that's a good idea really having a stand like this if you're into making stuff then you don't you can actually put it on and see uh, how it turns and, and what it feels like but yes, my friends, maybe only I see the vision of the beast, but knowing how much power the other one puts out, if we can get double the power out of this motor that we got out of that one, then we're actually going to be laughing. But as I always say, the proof is definitely in the pudding and uh, you can waffle as much as you want. It's only when it's uh, been stuck in 20, 20 mile an hour winds for 72 hours that we know who's got the minerals and who hasn't. So yeah, they're the jobs for today. That, that and the gear thing. I don't know how much I'll get uploaded today. Uh, I might do them as a separate video, but this is mainly for my regular people. Uh, thanks to Nico for sending that £10 donation, which is going to get spent on the gear cog to go in here. Uh, again, this one, this gear cog is going to be fitted on here and will drive the motor. And when funds, funds allow, I'll buy a bigger one, like a 36 tooth or something. So the plan is... Uh, this is a, let me just count, that's a 26 tooth. So if we had that, that would be a 26 tooth on the drive shaft to an 18 tooth and we'll get a ratio of approximately 1.4. Whereas if we were to go with a 36 tooth, go from 36 tooth to an 18, then we get a ratio of 2.1. But there's a lot of stuff to consider because if we're running a two to one ratio it's going to be harder to turn uh, whereas if we were running a 1.4 to one ratio it'll it'll be easier to turn uh, i have thought about the idea of trying to have multiple 
uh, gear wheels on on that but I don't think that would work we can potentially have two on here and then yeah all will become clear when I make them but I'm probably just going to upload this as a waffle special and then I'll try and do all the work and film it my son dragged me a table outside you might think glass isn't the best idea but you know glass won't catch fire in a hurry but anyway that's one thing so yeah that's just the, the main waffle and uh, I'll do the other stuff in a separate video. Cheers. Now these are going to be the two plates that we're using for the bearings. And I'm going to be doing the drilling uh, using this thing, which is 50 pound uh, drill off Facebook. But I like it because it runs at relatively low speeds. And I found the low speeds helps look after the drill bits. And I can't afford to keep buying new drill bits. So look after the drill bits and... Yeah, that will be that. I've decided it's probably best to just explain everything that I'm doing and then show you it when it's done because it can be quite stressful trying to film stuff all the time and then you end up more worried about the filming rather than the uh, quality of the work. But just a shout out for anyone who's making stuff out of scrap. That turbine is nearly all uh, made out of a scrap old table. So uh, some people might find that a bit weird, but quite like it myself. So yeah, anyway, I'll see you in the next video and hopefully I'll have had some stuff achieved. Sweet!